Hello everyone, welcome back to SK Shadow, welcome back to Bournemouth for the very last time. Today is an end of an era. I am going to say this is the last episode of Bournemouth um, before we move on to the uh, long-awaited Paris FC save. So, main reason being is I think I've taken Bournemouth as far as I can go. Sort of. I mean, it's just a lot of bobbling around the top four, going back into Europa League, getting knocked out of the Champions League really easily, things like that, and it's really starting to just get on my nerves that the board won't give us. I mean, the board just don't want to give us that next vital push. A, I mean, it's not really the transfer money, because there's only, only so many players you can buy when you're... Uh, what do you call it, your club sort of reputation is only four star if that makes sense, because like once you get that five star anyone will join you, no problem at all like not even it's not even like competition uh, and then the only other thing that I kind of wish they would give us is better youth recruitment, because for a long term save, youth and there's hardly any youth that has been coming through um like, I've not completely killed the save, and I'm not completely just going to forget about the save. What I'm actually going to do is make a backup of the save, uh, do a five years in the future video in a few weeks' time, probably after I come back off on my Spain holiday, and then probably just play the save in the background as my own thing, and then every so often just jump back and go, look what happened. Or, better or not, I might start streaming again and then stream this save as a completely separate thing, because... Why the hell not? But, in terms of it, this season could have gone really, really well. The only problem being is if we didn't have this massive run here of bad form, we would be fine. The mid-season slump is just impossible to get over. And then, well, we lose twice to United in the league and in the FA Cup, so we're out of that. Europa League, we was 1-0 up in the first leg to Arsenal, then second leg, they beat us 2-0, so we're out of that. And now we are literally playing for pride and to get into the Champions League in where we've literally got Birm Birmingham, Tottenham, Burnley, Leicester. So, nah. <laughs> we're going to finish off the season. Like, you know, obviously I'm still taking it seriously, still going to obviously be playing some of it off-camera, maybe sometimes stream it if I can set that up and get into a long long term save like sort of off camera maybe on stream and then from there actually in the videos is not going to be Bournemouth anymore I'm going to move on to sort of like a maybe not quite a non-league to a legend style thing but more or less what do you call it third division to glory if that makes sense because we're taking Paris FC which is obviously the second team in Paris and we're going to try to take down the Giants PSG eventually so there you go and that's probably going to take us the whole way around to when the new game comes out in October normally but there you go right I'm going to play this one and then I'll be back I think we're only going to play the last game of the season actually on camera I just just trying to plug through the season really ah fantastic and in a really uneventful game, we lose 1-0. Hoiberg in the 82nd minute, to be fair. Play Leicester as the final game. We'll do the end of season review. And then we can, for the time being, say goodbye to Bournemouth. Say hello to Paris. Uh, I may have, I may speed record one or two episodes of the Paris before I go away. Just so you have like the start of it, and then it'll be a couple of weeks before you see the next one. Just because I am away, which is well, man needs a break. So there you go, and this makes me happy. All these green lines, you love the green lines. Right, uh, quickly uh, get through this game, and then I'll play the last game of the season. Show you that. Um, and then, yeah, we're good to go. Hey, comfortable that was. Very comfortable. 
Neymar with a brace, 4-1. Is lovely stuff. I'm going to say, anyways, so we got ourselves Leicester. Who are we playing? Do I give Morgan Rogers the game? I feel like I should give the starting team a go. Jack Stacey is injured. We'll just bring on that guy there. That would do. Talis Magno. How is he doing on form? Yeah, he's been incredible. 31 starts. 19 goals, 7 assists. That is mad. How's Neymar done, actually, since he's coming in January? Not great in Europe, but in the Prem. 15 starts, 3 goals, 9 assists. Yeah, he's just like the assist machine, I will say. He's very, very, very good in terms of that. And Marlo, how have you been? Pretty damn good, actually. 22 games, 8 goals, 9 assists. That's exactly what you expect, to be fair. Almost click simulate there. I don't want to do that. Right, let's rock and roll. Play a game. Hopefully win the last game of the season. And... Yeah. <laughs> Just hopefully we win. That's all, all I can really say. Neymar Magno. There's the goal. Is that offside? Maybe. I hope not. No, they've given it. Good stuff. Good stuff. We like getting the goal. Over the top. Ooh. That's a cool signing for Leicester Paulson. If that's that Paulson I'm thinking of, the one who played for Leipzig. He was a interesting player. Can't remember his first names, I wouldn't know whether it's him or not, but Gallagher two 0 Oh, it's, they're making it easy. I'm going to review that again. I don't think that's offside. Or at least I didn't see it as offside. Wouldn't surprise me if they actually disallow it. Yeah, there you go. Well, just 1 0 them. Unlucky. Ooh, uh, half time, 1 0. Come on, let's get a second. Bury the game. And be off on our way. Right, Almada, what you got? What you got? There you go. Nico, Neymar, Nico, Magno, Gallagher. There you go. Gallagher gets the goal. There's no way that can be called off for anything. Good job. Yeah, good goal. Terrible defending from Leicester, though. Just in a here we go by Fabrizio Romano on Twitter. Zlatan is not retiring. <laughs> He is still going to go strong at AC Milan. That man is just crazy. He just does not stop. Like, when seriously was that man's prime? Like, <laughs> he's been around for so long now. It's just like, when? Like he started in the early 2000s, he's had like an over 20 like odd year career. Because didn't he start out like Malmo or something? Something like that, some Swedish team. They went to Ajax and then from there to the, all the Milan teams. He's just been around. That is unlucky, that goal. But apparently he's going to sign till 2023. Going to stay for one more season. Uh, he suffered a knee injury. Oh, yeah, he did. And recovery will take six to seven months, but he wants to continue with AC Milan. New salary will be around 1 to 1 1.5 million net per season with bonuses related to goals and more. He'll be 41 in October. Unreal. That is very unreal. I need to do some substitutes because I haven't done anything yet. I will do that. We'll take Magno. Off for Morgan Rogers and then Dickier, you can come off. And I guess Belize can get the game. We'll end the season in fantastic fashion, winning 2 0 at home. Unless we get a third here. Didn't he suffer like a horrible injury as well, like a year or two ago? I actually got goal line technology. That looks over to me from here. 
Nice, some fantastic goal line technology. <laughs> there we go. 2 0. Lovely stuff. That is the season. Looks like we end in third. He's happy to stay. He wanted to leave. Ah, they all wanted Champions League football. I see, I see. Right, that makes sense. I don't know when the end of season review comes in, but we will do that. There we go. What is that we won? Oh yeah, we won the Community Shield, so we did win a trophy. And that's the second trophy we've won then. Ah. Right, so end of season review 2026-2027. The best transfer goes to Kepa. I've got to actually agree with that. Maybe even Neymar, just because Neymar, for the money, has been brilliant. Uh, and Dickie has also been really good. Brenner could have been better, but... Not bad, and then Aaron Hickey is, yeah, pretty terrible. <laughs> He's been terrible, not going to lie, but we'll get there. Obviously, we won the Community Shield, which, there you go, Carabao Cup, we got knocked out straight away by Man City, so they are disappointed. But when you play Man City, what do you expect? FA Cup, it was alright, could have done better. Europa League, we didn't make the quarters, we got knocked out by Arsenal. And then the Premier League, we got only a C. C plus? Come on, we got top three. You don't expect Bournemouth to go in the top three. We beat Chelsea 3 0, 1 point, Luton 5 0, and goal of the season. You still can't view the goal of the season. Which is. Yeah. Can't do that. Monies. It is all of that stuff. I don't care about the monies. There's our best lineup for the season. Sounds about right, to be fair. Maybe I'd put Thingy in, Almada there, instead of we'll look at DM, but fair. I still look like I've got an emu of sorts there. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, Talis Magno being the fans player of the season, young player of the season, also being Magno, which he can no longer get because he'll be 25 soon. And then best signing, Kepa. Sure, most assists. 16 assists from Michael Douglas. Jesus Christ. And most player of the match is also Michael Douglas. Going to be a great player. Yeah. Record breakers, highest transfer fee paid. 59 million for Evan Indicia. There you go. That is it. Bournemouth is over. Bournemouth is complete for now, we'll come back soon at some point, but it's time for a new save. So, the end of an era, why am I yawning? So, yeah, the end of an era, what can I say? We have a lot of, a lot of emails here, Jesus, and I don't really care. Let's end it off, I'll accept the vision. Discuss plans. Whoa, what do they want me to do for next season, though? Uh, in the season, they want me to qualify Champions League. Reach the semi-finals. And by the end of 29-30, they want me to challenge for the title. So within three years, I've got to challenge for the title, win the title, and get to, like, the semi-final, if not the final of the Champions League. The players are not going to agree with that. Pff, we're not going to win the title. Challenge. Some of them are satisfied and others aren't. Ooh. You're setting us up to fail. I've got nothing to add, boss. All right. yeah, that's great to hear. I also think we should be trying to reach the Champions League final. Reach the knockouts. I like your ambition. There's a minimum. Well, knockouts has a minimum, so there you go. So we can go.
Thanks, and that was all very good. Was it though? Because <sighs> yeah. Well, there you go. There you have it. Um, staff meeting. That's useless. There we have it. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, check links in the description for all of that fantastic action. Um, join our Discord, come talk to us, and stay tuned because at some point we'll have the parish save up. I'm going to attempt to do it before I go away, um, but no promises. So it's either going to be very soon or in a few weeks. I just don't know. But thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.